This is Ibrin from the Widescreen Gaming Forum. Welcome to this follow-up to my original review of the DS100 triple monitor stand and the NeoFlex HD wall mount. Previously, we looked at a mod where I hung three 22-inch monitors on the wall using the DS100 with a 46-inch crossbar and a single NeoFlex HD. If you haven't seen that video review, I would recommend starting there. It goes over the installation techniques and risks of performing this mod. This mod uses the DS100 quad monitor stand with a 55 inch crossbar and two NeoFlex HDs to mount three 24 inch monitors on the wall. The 55 inch crossbar is needed to accommodate monitors larger than 22 inches. As before, this mod is still not endorsed by Ergotron. If your monitors fall off the wall or you damage them in any way, it's your responsibility. The allowable weight for the crossbar is 31 pounds per monitor. With the Dell U2410 24-inch monitors, we are well under that limit at 14.3 pounds each. A single NeoFlex HD can hold up to 36 pounds with the extension arm in place. Considering that we are distributing the weight between two arms, we should be good with 72 pounds of capacity between them. Our first photo shows the existing installation of the single NeoFlex HD wall mount. It also shows the mess of cables connected to the three monitors. The second photo shows the initial position of the second NeoFlex HD. The installation of this mod poses two hurdles to overcome. First, you must attach the NeoFlex HD wall mounts to a stud. Secondly, you need to position the outboard pole clamps as far out on the crossbar as possible. This combination can be quite difficult to achieve, possibly requiring a sacrifice in clamp placement. Here we have the mod itself. It almost perfectly mirrors the mod of the DS100 triple in the single NeoFlex HD. A piece of one and a half inch conduit is used as a bushing between the NeoFlex extension arm and the DS100 outboard pole clamp. The conduit provides a very tight fit on the pole clamp and allows for movement on the extension arm. This is useful for adjusting placement. Here we have the second NeoFlex HD installed and now we show the DS100 55 inch quad monitor crossbar in place. Note the initial location of the two clamps. After this initial installation, I ended up moving the left NeoFlex HD to the next stud so that the clamp could be set further down the crossbar for better stability. It currently sits in this position. Here's a close-up shot of the NeoFlex HD, the DS100, and the mod installed. Finally, we have a picture of the three 24-inch monitors in place. Like the initial DS100 triple installation, there is still an issue of the outside monitors drooping below the center monitor. Due to the two connection points, the amount of droop was greatly diminished over the initial mod, and the monitors line up much closer to perfect. Also, the right monitor lines up better as its clamp is a few inches further down the crossbar. I noticed a dramatic improvement in the left monitor when I moved its clamp further towards the outside edge. At this point, I'm not sure if the DS100 is capable of lining up monitors perfectly, at least not in this unsupported wall mount configuration as my clamp points are actually further out than what is shown in the DS100 quad monitor installation guide when using the desk stands. As with many mods, there are often trade-offs. However, I am quite satisfied with the installation. It avoids the issues of greatest concern to me, desk space and cable clutter, while improving on the previous issues of monitor alignment.